Hello everyone and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today while working on several projects around my Lego barn, uh, it occurred to me that I have not made a Lego Pro Tip video in a while. So today's video is going to be on Technic Bricks. So this is something that interests you. Stick around because we're jumping right into it. Oh, excuse my build table because it is a complete disaster as always, but <laughs> like I said, I had all the parts out and I thought, you know what, let's go ahead and do a quick video. Anyway, uh, what a lot of people overlook is when they're doing different builds using Technic pins that each pin, well, there is two different specific uses is what I want to say. And with that being said, you'll see that I have five different pins here in front of me. Now, there's a one small difference between all these pins. What it is, is the three on the right are for moving, and the two on the left are friction pins. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you. When you have a Technic pin and you put it inside of your part like so, a lot of these, as you can see here, will allow to spin freely, which these all do, with no resistance at all. Well, you don't always want to have, for example, maybe you're going to want to put a piece on to another one and you're going to want it to be tilted in a certain way and you're going to want it to stay tilted. Well, that's why you have to use these two pins on the left because, again, just to show you, these pins over here will not allow you to actually sit and hold it anywhere specifically. It just freely flows around where the one on the left you're not gonna spin that anywhere. And that is what the difference is. The blue Technic pin with, I'm trying to get the camera to focus in, with the, uh, <laughs> the cross, I guess we'll call it, on the end of it is a friction style pin. So is the black Technic pin. This is a friction style pin. Whereas the gray is for spinning, the gray with the X on it is for spinning, and the tan with the X on it is for spinning. So again, anytime you're doing something and you want to hold your position to where it will not move any further, you're always going to want to use a black or a blue with the hex on it. And if you want it to freely spin, you're going to want to use the gray, either gray or tan, and it will give you that nice free sliding motion. And anyway, that is today's Pro Lego Building Tip. So as always, thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share below. And hopefully, we'll see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.